Hi guys, Molly the Mixologist here from Total Wine. Today we're gonna to be making one of my favorite gin cocktails, a bee's knees. Now, you might be able to guess this from the name, but it is indeed made with honey. Uh, in this case, I made a honey syrup. I think that's the easiest way to involve honey in a cocktail because it's not gonna be super difficult to pour. It's not gonna get stuck to the bottom of your tin. So I just did equal parts water and honey and kind of stirred it or whisked it till it combined. Uh, super easy and it's gonna just make the whole cocktail making experience a lot more pleasant. So I'm also choosing to use a really nice bright citrusy gin for this. So a London Dry is a great way to go. G&J is one of my favorites. Super bright, super refreshing, uh, really delicious cocktail at the end. So again, as always, we're gonna start with our cheapest ingredient first. So we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Since we are using honey, which has a little bit more uh, depth and richness and funk than regular simple syrup, we're gonna do an ounce of that. So this is again, my honey syrup. Do an ounce of that. And then we are going to do two ounces of our gin. So good. And as always, make sure you fill your tin all the way up with ice. When you're doing a cocktail that's served up, you wanna shake it a little extra because it doesn't have any ice to water. It's not gonna sit on ice and, and get a little bit more diluted as some other cocktails that are on the rocks would. So keep that in mind when you're shaking. And remember, you wanna be flipping that ice through the tin so it gets nice and chilled. Then we'll go ahead and strain into our coupe glass here. And then one of my uh, favorite elements of this cocktail is actually the garnish. So we're gonna do a, a twist instead of a peel. Now the point of a twist isn't just to look cool, it's to actually add nuance to the cocktail. So when you do it, you wanna um, twist it onto the surface of the cocktail. And you'll see as I do this, you can see the, um, how the essential oils of the peel are hitting the surface of the cocktail. That's gonna add a really nice olfactory note to your drink. And then you can kind of wrap it around your finger like so, give it a nice little pull. And just like that, cheers. So.